seen you in the jeans. Stop blaming the jeans. <laughs> Say your name. Oh, see, I had her deep It's really not. I'm gonna use a camera. Go ahead, I'm not gonna use a camera. Okay, I'm not gonna use a camera. Okay. I think that's good. Hey, y'all, can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? We good? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put this down. Watch your stuff, kid. Watch out your stuff, come on, because I gotta put this down there. Where did I put you want a fork? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These were the forks I told you to wash yesterday. Okay, so we're just doing them up thing, y'all. Hey I, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. Harley's right there. Just talking. You can turn the camera around to you if you want. Mm. They don't want to see my ugly mug all day, so. I'm just eating my um what? My loaded tot. Grab me a burger. Go ahead, talk. Turn the camera through you so you can talk. I'm talking. Yeah, but the camera's not on you, though. Um, do you know the, uh, I, are you nervous about the inauguration this week? Uh-huh. I'm very nervous about it. I don't like it. Um, I'm scared for everyone. I don't Same, trust like, no one. My favorite singer is Demi Lovato, and she's going to be singing now. I'm like, be careful. Have armed security at the ass. As you know... They were already proving it was an inside job, and they were showing, you know, people leading everyone to where they were supposed to go, so I'm like, no. Yeah, because he did that. Mm hmm 45 did that. Mm hmm Let me see, baby. Watch out your food, because I'm going to drop it, so. Here. Anyway. Yeah, that's because yeah. 45 did that. I know he did. I don't give a crap who you are. You saw it, same as I did. Mm -hmm. Don't come at me with your bullshit that, oh, it's this and it's that. And while we're on this subject, let me ask this question. I keep hearing y'all say, oh, they're coming for our guns, they're coming for our, for our guns. Okay, let me ask you a question. I understand having handguns, but what the fuck do you need AK-47 assault weapons for? And do not tell me for hunting, because what the fuck are you hunting, Bigfoot? <laughs> exactly. And the final he he he's gonna be on your anti maskers because guess what? The first hundred days, it's gonna be a mandate that you have to wear a mask. So, uh huh. Especially Christina Walker, I'm talking to you. You know who the fuck you are? Christian Walker, Christina Walker, whatever the fuck your name is. I'm talking about being ghetto and trashy and you don't like criminals, bitch. Look at, look at your fucking backyard first. No. I'm just, I'm just gonna put this right out there. People like that are plain trash. Period. They are. Period. I feel anybody who supported Trump is trash. Well, I mean, that's their sister, their sister fucking cousin Dayton in great fucking trash. I mean, I said it, and I'm taking it back either. I don't care who gets offended. You know, I work for it. I was asking clients questions for their certifications, right? And she said that she was disabled, and I was like, okay, just make sure you upload your documents. I don't think she's going to upload them. Mm-hmm. That's her business.
Then, here's a question that I have. Mm -hmm. This is just a question. It's just, just a random question to anybody. Yeah. Okay. I want to know. I don't want to hear because it's that third. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. So, here's a question. Now, I don't want to hear the usual shit. Oh, because you promised this and you promised that and you did this and he did that. I want you to tell me. Anywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Why did you vote for Donald Trump? And don't tell me the same bullshit over oh, because he had the same public. No. Why in your heart of hearts did you vote for him? If you thought he could make a difference, say that. But he hasn't. And I want you to tell me why you keep kissing his ass because apparently he hasn't done shit for y'all. I'm telling to everyone, including including the gay people, because I know there's a few out there that, that did like him. Okay, but you know, let me try this way. A lot of people were saying that they didn't like his rhetoric or whatever, but they voted for him based on his charitable acts that he did before. And I was like, that's just a, a facade he puts onto the public. Um, you can't see that. Man, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And they have their nerve to call us brainwashed sheep. Mm hmm No, let's be honest. The real reason they voted for him was because he's a, he, he was he was so-called TV star. His show fucking sucked. Mm -hmm. And he had D-list celebrities. Although I just blew Penn and Teller from this because they, they they talk shit about themselves. Where all he had on there was fucking D-list celebrities that no one gave a fuck about because if they really did, let me ask you a question. Where's Brett Michaels at tonight? Don't worry, I'll wait. Mm -hmm. And Gary Busey don't even get me started. Hey, Gary Busey, I'm sure don't even get me started. I think Gary Busey has to see that brain damage from a motorcycle accident. Yeah, well, I, I mean, like, I like Gary Busey. I do like, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I fucking love the Buddy Holly story. Mm -hmm. But, I also, okay, but also I can't get, I can't be too upset because Gary Busey did play Buddy Holly, so, like, I can't get too upset. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, having somebody like that on your show, that, okay, I give him a pass too because, like I said, Penn and Teller and Gary Busey are the only two I give a pass to. But everybody else in there was fucking D list. Yeah. I hope we get to watch him drag him back. I hope we get to watch him drag him the fuck out. Yeah. Now again, now, now again, look. I ain't gonna lie. If I thought there was a strong candidate for a Republican, I would have voted for that. Mm. If it was a man or a woman that I thought was qualified and, and I... And was and I was like, okay, well, you know, they're making a good point in what they're saying. I would have been like, okay, fine, I'll vote for you. But this fool, all his campaign is based on is lies, freaking hate, and freaking uh, what, whatever the fuck, and fucking corruption. And y'all are fucking buying that shit. Mm. And then y'all had the nerve to start the state state capital and be like, oh well, oh we were doing this for our rights. Meanwhile, do I even need to open this book? Do I really need to open this book? Because if I open this book, you know what? Do I really need to open this book? Because if I open this book, if I open this book, we're going to be here at least a good 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Y'all are over here talking about this whole protest, and I stress that term loosely. Meanwhile, he told y'all to freaking do that shit. Meanwhile, let me think. A whole bunch of African American. Uh, people were out there protesting for uh, for rights, which is something that they truly believed in, by the way. Okay? And yeah, it was a protest because they're, they're trying to end freaking racism and the freaking police force, and yet you all over here want to be over there calling them terrorists. 
fuck you all, fuck your sister Dayton and bread fucking white trash selves. And for those of you black people that did vote for Trump, fuck you, you should be ashamed of yourself. And to, to my people, the Mexicans that voted for him, fuck you, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves too. <clears throat> We did not start no insurrection. We did not go burn down the state capitol. We were fighting for human rights. I don't know what the fuck you were fighting for. What? Because you gotta stop sucking his dick now? You gotta. He's gotta pull his dick out and gotta quit fucking the whole universe? That's why you're mad? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I ain't taking it back either. Obama administration, okay? When when a black man, Obama, got hired, they got real scared, real quick. Because they were afraid he was going to do to them what should have been done. I said it. But no, Obama did it wasn't like that. So they kept this hatred and everything inside, and then when this fool came out, that's when they unleashed it. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't even lie. It was still there. They just had to be slick about it. Mm. They had to They had to be slick about it. Like, I'll give you a for instance, and Eddie Griffin said this. You don't believe me? Google this. Look it up. You can find it on YouTube. He said this. When Obama got elected, not only was y'all running scared, y'all got slick with your racism. Mm -hmm. For example, and I'm not being racist, but this, this is how, how freaking Eddie Griffin said it. When a black person went in to apply for a job, they said, we're not hiring, translation, N-word. Exactly. And that's another thing. Let's talk about this for a second. That's another thing. Let's talk about this for a second. Y'all are going to be over here getting mad and getting all butt hurt and getting all offended when the BLM movement and people that are protesting it call, uh, call you freaking snow possums and shit. Meanwhile, you have the audacity to sit on your freaking porches drinking your sweet tea and all that shit, stuff that they gave you, and still have the nerve to call them all a bunch of racial fucking slurs. While we're on the subject, if we're gonna be real now, if you don't, if you don't like people, well, let's start getting rid of shit. Get rid of the Corona beer, cause that was made by us. Get rid of your fried chicken, all you hillbillies down south, cause you know who that was made by, right? The same people that you hate. Those yeah. n words that you're that you're over there saying, oh, n word this and n word that. They they made all that shit, okay? Let's get rid of all the traffic lights. Let's be, let's be real. Y'all don't like the uh, y'all don't like that all the uh, like you call them y'all y'all don't like them. So yeah, get rid of the traffic lights. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, and music and music all together. Get rid of all, all music. Y'all y'all be saying y'all don't don't like them because of this that and the other. Get rid of music, even the hillbilly music. Cause guess who started it? Exactly. The same people you hate are the same people that invented all this shit. Oh, but you don't want to say that shit, do you? And who talks your country, to play? Your country music hall of fame? Um, let me think. Oh, yeah! Black people are in that, too. Don't believe me? Charlie Pride. One of the founders of the Grand Ole Opry is black. Y'all are so quick to be throwing around those, those racial slurs. Forgetting the fight. And another thing while we're on the subject of this, I'm gonna address schools now. Schools fucking whitewash every freaking thing. Exactly. They'll tell you, oh, Christopher Columbus discovered America, they sat in the third. They don't tell you what the hell he did. Okay, they, they don't tell you that shit. 
You know where you gotta learn this shit from? Goo goo. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie, like, like look, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, yeah, I, when I was younger, I was susceptible to that shit, and I believed, and I believed that shit. Until I got smart and started educating myself, and I was like, oh, okay, I was like, so, I was like, we're not the bad guys, the white people are. And I say we, because I'm, a, I'm half Puerto Rican, so you do the math. <coughs> Alright, give me back the lights, everybody!